JobPro is a file maker based system and if you'd like to use the multi-user version of JobPro so that multiple users can access the database at the same time there's a couple of ways you can do this. One option is where if you've more than say a couple of users then ideally you should set up FileMaker server on a dedicated machine and the JobPro databases will reside on that server so each user then they'll have FileMaker Pro the client software on their own computer and from that application they'll access the JobPro database as a guest of FileMaker server. But if you'd like to multi-user JobPro with a small amount of users well you can actually use just the client version of FileMaker Pro to host JobPro direct from one of the users computers. So each user will have FileMaker Pro on their computer but you need to nominate one of the users, usually the main user, you need to nominate those as the host. So the JobPro folder will reside on their computer. So for example, if you've either downloaded the trial version of JobPro or you've been given the JobPro registered version because you've purchased JobPro, you'll have a folder like this and within the folder you'll have the JobPro icon. So this folder needs to reside on the host user's computer and they need to have JobPro open within FileMaker Pro and once they have it open and network sharing is turned on, which we'll have a look at that in a second, well then the other users can open up FileMaker Pro on their machine and select open remote and then open JobPro as a guest of the host computer. So let's say that we're the host here. We've opened up JobPro then what we need to do is we want to make sure first of all that the JobPro database is set up as multi-user which it is here. The next thing that we want to do we just click on return close out of JobPro for a second the next thing that we want to do is initially we open up FileMaker and from within the FileMaker application we select sharing and then FileMaker Network. Now these options are almost identical on the Windows platform. And then within here we want to make sure that network sharing is turned on. Currently we have no files open but we're about to open a file now. So then if we just open up JobPro and once the database is open then it's available for other users using FileMaker Pro to open the database. So now let's just say that we're a second user on the network and we open up FileMaker Pro because we don't have JobPro technically on this machine and what we select is open remote and in here then any host that's on the network will be displayed in the dialog box where we click on the host and the job pro name will appear here and we can just double click that to open it as normal. Also on the host computer where you have the job pro central folder you need to keep all of the files within the same folder. For example here's the job pro database and there's a folder called files and if we have a look at that we can see that in here there's various subfolders like documents that are linked to the documents module and various other areas of the system that store documents or images that are used within the JobPro application. So also on the host computer it's important to remember to back up the JobPro central folder regularly if you're not using FileMaker server and you'll need to close JobPro first otherwise the backup will happen on an in-use database and that's not recommended. For information on setting up JobPro using FileMaker Server to host over the network, please see the separate video tutorial.